Update. 4.52 p.m. After almost three years, Marvin Peart's multi-million dollar lawsuit over the acquisition of the Weinstein Company's assets now has a trial date. Originally looking for $110 million, the Mob Wives executive producer looks set to face off with Lantern Capital Partners on December 1 in Los Angeles Superior Court, according to a recent notice from Judge Robert Brobelt III. Unless of course Pert and his Morrow Maro Media shingle reach a settlement with the Texas-based private equity firm beforehand. Regardless, in the diseased leg hold trap that has become almost everything to do with the incarcerated Harvey Weinstein, his alleged and trial proven abuses, and the ragged remnants of the Oscar nominations factory the producer and his brother Bob had in TWC, it's not that quite straightforward, even for this particular convoluted portion of the saga. Yes, Pert was successfully last month in getting most of the summary judgment that Lantern sought to gut the case tossed out. Yet, in the May 25 hearing and subsequent ruling, the behind-the-scenes player who says he made the introductions and more to position Lantern to buy the assets of the bankruptcy-burdened TWC, also found his fraud and non-contract claims cut from the case. Which means, while Pert can pursue his assertion that he was promised a 2% introduction fee, for what became a nearly $290 million buyout by Lantern, he cannot seek potentially lucrative punitive damages anymore. As well as being supposedly given the corporate cold shoulder once matters started came together in the acquisition, Pert has claimed that part of his being shafted and iced out was because of institutional racism suffered by the African-American exec. Originally represented by Greenberg Glusker Fields Klaman and Mochtinger LPP's Pierce O'Donnell, Pert has been repped in this matter by Santa Barbara's Philip Dracht since just before the pandemic. Previously, July 2, 2018 exclusive. If Lantern Capital hadn't been experiencing enough turbulence in its efforts to complete its acquisition of the Weinstein Company, today there is more. On Monday, producer Marvin Pert hit the Dallas-based private equity firm with a $110 million lawsuit alleging he was excluded from the deal after bringing Lantern to the negotiating table. Institutional racism is being cited as part of the reason for Pert, who is African-American, being dumped by Lantern. With almost all the hallmarks of a classic double cross, the Mob Wives executive producer and his Maro Media shingle claim to have been promised more than $10 million by Lantern and a seat on the board of the acquired asset for bringing Lantern in as a minority investor in the original consortium bid led by Ron Burkle and Maria Contreras Sweet. Of course, this occurred after TWC fell into disrepair after allegations of sexual assault and harassment against co-founder Harvey Weinstein went public last October.